Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I want to go everything that I've done to, to make this uh, wing project happen. So it started off as a regular GT wing that I got on eBay. And basically the only thing that I kept from the wing is the main blade or airfoil. And the reason is because I really can't do it myself because it requires two complex molds from top and bottom. And I just don't want to make those molds and just have one wing, if that makes sense. So it's something that you'd want to do if you want to like mass produce a part. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to get a wing that's already been done and I'm just going to customize as much as I can for it. You know, I'm not even sure what all this stuff is called, but you know, I'm just guessing this is, these are the mounting feet. These are the pedestals, vertical pillars or whatever. So those are all mine. And also I added these um, veneer plates to cover, you know, the shiny, I guess, mounting brackets on the wing. So ideally I would also want to make those myself, but they're just so complex. It just a lot goes into it to make a part like that. So let's start off with the side plates. And these look simple at first glance, but they're actually two plates sandwiched together to, so that you have both sides smooth. Yeah, the only way to do it really is to make two, two plates and then just epoxy them together. So in this case, I wanted to make side plates that are more unique than what you see usually on the market. And um, I mean, at first I thought, you know what, like how much more unique can it be? Because uh, I feel like everybody's done every single design there is imaginable but there's always room for like a, that extra, I guess, uniqueness. So in this case, I just added these slanted corners. So these bolts are right now uh, titanium. They're a blue finish, but I plan on replacing them with black finish bolts. So just something that blends in better. I decided to go for that counter, countersunk flush finish or flush look instead of using like a washer. So all the parts that I make for my car are in satin finish. I prefer this like matte satin look. I don't know, it just looks more sporty. And the reason I did not want to spray the main airfoil is because there's a lot of, um, I guess, warpiness or unevenness on the surface. And uh, everything that's flat or in flat finish actually re reveals all the defects are really, really drastically. And you can see it like at an angle. And maybe at some point I'll make my own airfoil as well, but uh, I don't know why, why mess with it if it works, right? So moving on to the vertical pillars, they're just uh, solid slabs of carbon and the uh, you know, usually you get these, they're hollow inside, but in this case I went for like a super solid, strong design. Yeah, it's basically the same idea as the side plates where you have two plates sandwiched together and each plate is as thick as the side plate. So you imagine like double this. So all the hardware on the side here is titanium bolts and um, I guess stainless steel washers or aluminum. So everything is meant to kind of look as stealthy as possible. You could also cut maybe like a cutout in the middle, but uh, I felt like that would compromise the structural integrity, you know, a little bit. And these are actually a little bit lighter than the original aluminum pedestals that came with the wing. Lighter and much stronger. And these are veneer plates. They're literally just for the look. I mean, they are siliconed onto the wing, drilled right through. So they're actually not serving any purpose other than the visual. So then we have the main um, mounting feet, I guess or brackets. And these were the hardest thing to do for this project is because I had to make a mold that's like exactly perfect uh, angle wise. So this was like 80 degrees from the main surface of the trunk to how the wing sits. So yeah, I had to figure that one out. It's definitely the most challenging project I've ever done and it came out really clean. So uh, the whole thing is super strong. Like, I mean, there's zero flex. So the wing is bolted to the trunk with three bolts and these are stainless bolts, I just painted them black. And these washers are also aluminum. So initially I was just planning to use two holes for the wing. Like once I done that, I just realized like the wing had a little bit too much wobble and that's due to the trunk being uh, so thin. But yeah, then I found the third location and I just drilled it and, and that's what made all the difference. Like, you know, this side to side, there's no flex really. I mean, just a little bit, but you can see like that's the trunk flexing but uh, like back and forth there's also like zero flex so this wing has like a little bit of adjustability as far as uh, the height of it and also the angle of attack or the actual angle so I just chose the most kind of standard angle to it so this was mainly for the look to be honest I mean I don't track the car I don't do anything with it I just uh, drive it here and there and to be honest like I drove this car at higher speeds on the freeway and I didn't really notice any difference, you know, as far as downforce. It like, it was stable before and it, it was stable then with the wing. 
So I'm sure you can feel the difference maybe in high speed turns, but you know, maybe like one of those Canyon runs when you're going fast. I mean, for me, it's just a kind of a poser, you know, for the look. And why not? Like, if the car looks like a race car, you don't have to actually race it, you know, if it makes you happy the way it looks. So, I mean, let me pop the trunk and I'll show you the, how I drilled the inside. So this hole was the most obvious one because there's already like drilled right through. This hole was my second choice. I, mean, I figured, you know, it's kind of reinforced on uh, both sides of, this, of the trunk. So initially I just planned to use these two, but like I said, the trunk was a little bit, or the wing was a little bit too wobbly. So I just found a location here to drill another hole. And this one is reinforced, like it's got, you know, top and bottom. So that actually worked out perfectly because uh, there's no flex. So the wing definitely has added quite a bit of weight to the trunk. So you have to be careful closing it, but it's not a big deal. So I just grab it by the gurney or something, or the wing itself, and just let it fall. So that's it. It looks simple when I talk about it, but it's actually pretty challenging. And uh, definitely has changed the car a lot, just visually. And not only that, but it actually inspired me to do, to redo a lot of parts that, I, that were already on it. Like in the case of this diffuser, I actually am planning on doing a completely different one. Something more aggressive, like a time attack style. So the one that sticks out a little bit further and has more aggressive fins. I mean, I really like designs like this. They're clean. They're really um, stylish, but I just want something that's sort of a wow factor. You know, like when you see it, it's like, damn, what is that? So I, I don't know, just kind of like obnoxious, but not too obnoxious. So I've seen a lot of wings on this car that don't have a gurney flap and just have this stock spoiler and it just looks a little bit odd. I guess it would look better without the stock spoiler, but since I can't take it off and have holes there, I figured, you know, I'd, I'd keep my gurney. Plus, of course, I like the gurney, so, so I feel like it flows really well together. So. And some of you may say, like, my car looked better without the wing because I got those comments before. But to be honest, it kind of just uh, it had to happen. It was like the next step. Initially, I was never a fan of wings and I thought they were too much. But, you know, like over time, when you have your car for a while, you've done you do all these mods to it. You kind of run out of stuff and you also want like the next step. And the next step is usually, you know, wide body or wing or both or, you know, like kind of want to go a little bit more crazy. Otherwise, it's kind of boring, you know, just like driving the same thing over and over. So as far as the back of the car, I feel like it's uh, finally got to that point where it's pretty much done. You know, I thought about adding like a license plate backing here, but I don't know, it sort of makes the rear look like a front. So since my last video, I've added this piece here. It's like a side blade. It's got a little canards on the inside. And also a few days ago, I did add this rear blade and it also has uh, two canards, a visual element sort of to make the car a little bit more wide. So this pretty much sums it up. If you have any questions, just drop them down below in the comments. And just keep in mind that this is all pro uh, personal projects and I don't really do any custom work. So a lot of people ask me if I can make them a wing, but a lot of people actually don't know that I bought a wing to start off with. You know, I didn't just make everything here. And then they asked me if I can make them this or that. And um, the answer is uh, I don't really want to do it. I mean, I can, but there's, it's, it is a hobby for me. I just enjoy doing it for my own car just making it as aggressive, as unique as I can. So I really just hope that this stuff inspires you guys to do something on your own. Like, I mean, you can start off with just cardboard and start cutting it up and, uh, you know, just doing like silly stuff. I don't know, that's how I started. So that's how I do it still. I just do cardboard and design everything. And then I just, you know, plan it out and then do carbon stuff. So, but I learned everything from YouTube and online. If I can do it, you can do it. So as far as the future plans for the car, well, I do have some front end projects and then side blades and stuff like that just to, to make it as mean looking as, as I can. As you can see, the front end is not that complete yet. At some point, maybe I'll do some kind of flares, but I want to design something on my own. I don't want to buy anything because I'm not a fan of what's out there. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. I see you.